hello students today we will discuss about erythropoiesis what is erythropoiesis it is the generation of the red blood cell why it is necessary because we know that around 120 days is the life span of a rbc so new rbc generation is mandatory for different functions in the body Today our topic of discussion is different factors which regulate erythropoiesis. First come to the local hormones. Some local hormones like interleukins are secreted from T lymphocytes and they are mainly 1, 3 and 6. Stem cell factors and gerbocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor. These are the local hormones. Now we all know that erythropoietin plays an important role in formation of RBCs. Mostly during the time of hypoxia, it is secreted from the kidney. And its role is mainly from the level of CFUE. Also, it promotes hemoglobin synthesis and help in different maturation process of RBC from pronormoblast onwards. Erythropoietin also promotes release of RBC from the bone marrow into the peripheral circulation. Now comes different vitamins like vitamin B12. It is very important for erythropoiesis. Normal requirement is 1 to 2 microgram per day. Its deficiency ca cause pernicious anemia. So it is also called a, a anti pernicious factor. How vitamin B12 is absorbed? It is absorbed with intrinsic factor. Where it is absorbed? It is absorbed as a intrinsic factor cyanocobalamin complex in the ilia and the process is endocytosis so vitamin b12 deficiency causes secondary folate deficiency and decreased synthesis of methionine which hampers the myelination of the neurons and exogenous folic acid can reduce the hematological symptoms but neurological symptoms